I guess this is just around that time where Buddy just going to pop up a lot. It says, Donald Trump says it's going to be a bloodbath for the country if he doesn't get elected <laughs> while discussing the auto industry at a campaign rally in Ohio. Hold on. Let me go ahead. and We got some, we got some footage. Hold on. Oh, my God. Take it to the footage. Donald Trump spoke at a rally in Ohio, and we decided we have to start here. We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That will be the least of it. Now, the Trump team quickly said last night, nothing to see here. He was just talking about the auto industry. Consider the full context, everyone. Otherwise, it's irresponsible. Well, if they want us to consider the full context, let's do just that. Because the full context is that Trump kicked off the same exact rally by saluting the people who were convicted for the deadly assault on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, all to the tune of the national anthem sung by a choir of imprisoned insurrectionists. The full context is that some of the first words out of Trump's mouth last night, same rally, were thanking those rioters and calling them patriots. The full context is that he also said in this same rally, quote, if this election isn't won, I'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country. The full context is that he went on to say some undocumented immigrants are, quote, not people. And of course, the full context is that this is much bigger than one single speech. This embrace of political violence, this dehumanizing language. This is what Donald Trump has been preaching for years. <laughs> Who posted this shit? Chuck? That wasn't me. I was about to say, all right, Chuck, I get it, big dog. <laughs> I get it. I take it back. Got to run it back. That was some bullshit. This nigga. It's deja vu, man. Didn't ahead, we already yeah. do this? Huh. Didn't we already do this? <laughs> like I just, four years ago, eight years ago. Buddy. But here, 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 how you know everything crooked. You know what I mean? They'll sit up here and watch all this stuff go on. You know what I mean? Sit up here and look in everybody's face like, oh my gosh. I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> this, this nigga. Th we're going to impeach him. We're gonna lock him up. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that, and don't nothing ever happen. And he coming and back. We and he and coming back. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Like they just it's just right there in your face, bro. Like he, he just he just he just insinuated another. That like, motherfucker said, right now. Bad, he said, if on, I don't just, get like, elected, he just told is, you, nigga, a, it's gonna be some people dying, bro. And he was in Ohio. Bro. And this is for a real Trump, a Republican uh, Trump, Trump country for real. This is a Republican. That must be one of him cousins. It was probably one of his cousins down at that uh, Montgomery brawl or something. He thought <laughs> he he, he wants some get back all no. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be a bloodbath. This nigga, let me get elected. Let somebody throw a hat in the air. I <laughs> dare you. Now the the most man, the <laughs> most on, interesting bro. thing for me be shit like. When you say things that is hard to defend or to justify your means for saying it, right? <laughs> and then you got people who ride the coattail or try to not acknowledge the bullshit. So I'm in, in flipping into Trump, his counterparts. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you going to say? What are you? What defense will you have for this man saying it's going to be a bloodbath? When you hear that, what comes to your mind? You know, you already know what comes to mind. I mean, I ain't got no defense for him. I'm not necessarily but, saying okay. you, but I'm saying for the Republican people because you know it's no longer it's not really a Republican party; it's the Trump party mm -hmm. because he's the motherfucker who he owns that shit, mm -hmm. and a lot of them be dick riding dude. You know what I'm saying? And then he sit here blatantly telling you what the fuck is about to happen. But then when they go back and play the tape, people try to downsize what he says as if it's not what it really is. But I think that's like his I team. Said, at the end of the day, he just 
he just showing you how the world works. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? As, as is known today, you know what I'm saying? Or as is controlled today, you feel me? Like, for yeah. the most part, that is. You know, not everywhere, really, but we talking the United States. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this, it's, I don't know, bro. Like, this. That po- that politics shit is crazy. It's bro. a whole nother ball game. It's a whole. I was just about to say what I, you I, think. Personally, I look at it from different perspectives. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't motherfuckers fucked up if you ask me. So Trump ain't no different than Biden. Yeah, yeah. None of the other ones. You know what I'm saying? They all crooked yeah. as fuck. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? With their own agendas. So, like me personally. When it comes to politics, like what I ain't gonna say I like about Trump, but it's more like um I rather a motherfucker be like, Hey big, fuck you. Yeah. Rather than be like, Hey big, how you doing? Then walk off and be like, Man, I can't stand that nigga. Yeah. You know that, what I'm saying? I can respect a man more that you know what I'm saying, like, nigga, I don't like you. At least I like, know it's fuck me. And and like bro was saying, mm-hmm. like it kinda opened up like shit they try to cover up like racism still live and 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 is real alive you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like even with them doing where they uh attack the capital and shit like if that was black people man i don't would have been that would have been a blood that would have that would have been a real blood back. so it just put it all in perspective of well, what america you know what i'm saying really is like this really ain't it ain't for us you know what i'm saying but in the same sense for me, you know what I'm saying? When he was in office, he's a business-minded person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it opened up the market for people like me, small businesses. Mm-hmm. He made it a lot easier to become your own boss. You know what I'm saying? They, when a nigga was trying to do shit, LLCs, and back before then, mm-hmm. man, it was, it was all type of obstacles. You know what I'm saying? And... When he was in office, man, it was it was different. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like a you gotta take with the the good with the bad. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I feel like I'm, shit. Everybody was how everybody went and voted for Biden. Tell me what the fuck this nigga did in four years for us? Because like Period. you said, it's gonna be like this anyway. Regardless, at least let it do something. You know what I'm saying? From my pockets, you yeah, know what I'm or let me allow me to do something. That's going to benefit my family. Me and my you know family. I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I, I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will see all that, what they putting out in the media, which is, you know what I'm saying? All that is perception. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they putting all that out. But if, if it's really that bad, like y'all saying, and all this from the last presidency, how do we get to do it again? How are we right here, right again? now? Again, like, so so it's almost like y'all entertaining this shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what's going to come right. if this don't happen right. or if it does happen. You know what I'm saying? So Okay, for sure. That's a money thing, too, though. Mm-hmm. For sure. Because it's just everything Everything is monetized. And it, and, and, what, and, it, and, 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 the, and the the ratings for the TV shows and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit just be publicity too, man. So it, it's all. I wouldn't be surprised for real, like if Trump, like with, at the, at the end of the day, it's another Biden and Trump situation, and Biden when it, just hypothetically say Biden wins again. Look how much money was generated on both sides of this party. Yeah. They both, everybody walked away with fat, like like both parties walked away with fat rats. And this is what I tell a lot of people too, like we're getting more in tune with the politics though. Like, man, our whole life we was raised, we was raised to be, or taught that Democrats is for us. Yeah. But in our actuality, what has any Democrat done? Like my mom was struggling in the 70s and 80s like was still struggling like you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. it ain't they ain't really did and then at one point democrat it was the other way around mm-hmm. but they still at the end of the day work mm-hmm. hand in hand it's all the politics man not of being in a non-profit and and having to deal with even a local you know what i'm saying with your mayors and 
and then sitting in in real meetings with them and seeing how they all this shit is chess, bro. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I uh, explained to like when when all the uh, black you know what I'm saying? People was getting killed by the police and we all rioted at the downtown. Mm-hmm. And it was a peaceful protest, man, but they was shooting tear gas, rubber bullets, mm. all that at us. You know what I'm saying? And then the KKK came down here <laughs> with five motherfuckers and man, they protected them like the president was in this motherfucker. Like, we ain't on no kill, like we just saying, like we want our vote voice heard it. exactly so you know what i'm saying like the, even with the politics with that like you know what i'm saying or i remember that too yeah this shit been so getting more understanding of what the politic is politics is man like that's a that's, it's a fucked up game bro yeah for sure you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. all right so yeah chuck <laughs> I get everything you were saying, big dog, and moving forward. <laughs> Don't do that shit again. I won't do that shit again. 